What's up, you beautiful human being? Today I'm reacting to Castlevania episode 5 and 6. If you like Castlevania, if you like anime reactions, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to keep up to date. Obviously, notification bell. With that, let's jump straight into it. Let's go. I'm going to tell you right now that there's not many things that I look forward to as much as I look forward to Castlevania. But I mean, after today's reactions, we've got the last two left. Oh, yes, Grichter. How could you, man? Well, I get it, right? He's got this whole fear for Ulrox. And now, as the mom was saying, Terra, I think her name was, he saw his nightmare in the flesh. I'm just wondering how he's going to be able to bounce back from this. But I do have a feeling that when he bounces back, he's going to be able to utilize his magic. Damn. Dad, you know what that is? This is all the pain that he felt when he lost his mom. This is all the pain being released right now. Oh yeah, she got scratched by Dralta. Dralta Twentes, I think. So look, they took an L, let's be honest. They took a big L, but they made it out, you know, and we saw Richter did some really good work. Oh, what? What? Did she just take that from the table? Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. She took it from the table and she sewed his flesh together on the part of the blood where her, the clothes was ripped. Keep his head. Wow. I shudder to imagine what she's planning to do with it. Oh wow, vampires are different. That was, was that not Marquis, right? Marcus was the one who got killed. Yes. I'm getting I'm so much better with the names now. Terra knows something's up. That's the thing. The chateau is right there. She has this connection to the abbot and the abbey. Oh, it's Richter back. Annette has been so emotional this whole time. Like, she's so strong, but at the same time, she's just so emotional about everything. And it's these exact decisions that ruined the plans, first and foremost. And second of all, got Edouard turned into a night creature. I'll only move if you tell me you're not going back to the Abbey tonight. Or the Chateau. I won't go inside. <laughs> I won't go inside. No, we, we were trying to do that in the first mission. She's absolutely powerful. Like, it honestly seems like if she had full control of what she could do. Oh my word, Dralt is right there. If she had full control of her power, she could control almost the whole earth in a way, you know? She has the power over what was it? Iron and clay or sand or... Why does that look like... Edward, he had the same hair. Oh, it's Ulrox. In this time, like, don't go out. I prefer my blood blue. Blue. Wow. You know, like, when the people talk about their steak, I like my steak blue. I think it's the same sort of, how can I say it? Analogy. But over here, we we're in an uneasy alliance with the humans in this town. By humans, you mean the ab... Oh, wow. But where is Ezebeth? You know, because think about it. It's only eight episodes, and we haven't really seen the vampire messiah like this, live. What she's saying, her ideology, her theories. Vampires are pledging their allegiance to Ursbet Battery. Ursbet Battery. I was a priestess of Sekhmet. Sekhmet. Wow, all the way back then. I don't trust Annette being that close. You know, she can fly off the handle at any second. We endure. You see, that's another one I've heard before. How old is Aurox? <laughs> the horse has sent something. Bats. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Why is she just attacking? Who's that? Vablanc. Wait, is she gonna have a throwdown with Vablanc? Oh my goodness. Vablanc looks even more menacing. Now we get to see her power in full action. Look how scared he gets every time. Cage him. Oh, she made a, a crucifix. Boom. Oh my goodness. He's gonna turn into a bat and try to run. Oh my gosh. Oh, the sun is rising and he's trapped. Oh my goodness. So he's trying to get her upset so that she'll attack him, right? And then, but 
loyalty open him up from the cage so he can run but and let's hope she can keep her head this time oh he's gonna burn now this is probably the the worst death a vampire can get she's just a vampire oh my goodness she drank the blood of sekhmet sekhmet is the daughter of ra a lioness now i'm just even more amped to see Elizabeth. and now that i think about it this is probably only the first season of nocturne oh man which leads me to believe that the main person the enemy that they might kill wow yeah scream leblanc she got her revenge what makes me believe that Tralta might be the main enemy in this season because now that i think about it even the first castlevania had four seasons which was spread across so i doubt that everything is gonna end in this season richter with the riz the rister now i'm really interested to see what is gonna happen at the end of this one of the main guys for blanc is done i doubt all rocks is going to be beaten what is the abbot doing here the scumbag i wonder and this is a strange thing i'm thinking imagine that's her dad of history come down to the choice of just one man constantine charlemagne me. wasn't charlemagne in the last castlevania if you had met me we oh had my me. gosh i was right he calls it he calls it mystic mike back at it he said my father was dead to protect you wow let's go mystic mike predicts it once again <laughs> so that's what we learned now right is that because people are changing this revolution i guess they are disbanding priests and churches and things so that's why he's building the army and he has to sign side side with the the vampires in order to help and then maybe use his army to defeat the vampires at some point Who's this now? Oh my word, that food looks delicious. Who is this? No, there's no such thing as a free dinner. They say, go back to where you came from and don't expect to Oh, wow. Why does this look like Trevor? Where the fuck is the old man? Wow, a vampire. <laughs> what is going on is that trevor i don't think it is i don't think it's the same time zone oh wait no ways oh my goodness what is going on here arm clean off let's go let's go Whoa. <laughs> what is going on here? I forgot how heavy that thing is. What? Who are you? Wait. I'm Joust. Joust. Joust Belmont. Okay. Your grandfather. Wow. Absolutely crazy. I obviously thought it was Trevor, but I don't even know if the times are if it's in the same time, but that was an insane episode. Let's just jump straight into episode six. Who's this now? Oh, it's Tralta. Oh, is this Elizabeth? Whoa. Oh my goodness, a flaming chariot. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. We waited six episodes to get to this point. I want to see exactly what this is about oh my gosh you know the snow queen from knarnia kind of reminds me of that incredible my sister the moon runs brightly tonight my sister the moon the sun down on his knees to grovel in the blood oh my mercy. goodness so now you immediately get her reasoning i will cut off his head and suck out his brains and spit them into the dust wow she's a maniac what exactly is she planning remember earlier yeah in one of the early episodes she was like this one will do and why does she seem like she's 10 foot tall Exquisite. oh my goodness she's literally like a god i guess ah. 
so we finally met her, Elizabeth Battery, and she's obviously insane. <laughs> she promised not to tell you where to find me. What are you talking about? You mean she didn't tell you? No. So well, he just randomly you know, found him. Since you came to France, keeping an eye on you. You mean you've been watching me secretly? Well, when you put it like that, I... <laughs> Sounds a yeah, bit creepy. So he's obviously gonna go well, through his training montage now with his with his grandpa. You didn't want me to know I had an actual fucking grandfather living a few miles away. No, I didn't. He might expect things from me. Advice, encouragement, birthday <laughs> presents. Who the hell wants that? I was a hero once. Are we gonna do a little bit of a backstory on Juiced Belmont? But I had other powers. Ah, uh, this might be where he gets his magic from. Interesting. Oh, Cypher. So that's where Trevor is from. Oh my gosh. He's going to train him. Let's go. This is going to be good. But like I said, I, there's not enough episodes left to wrap this up. And I'm sure there's going to be more seasons of Nocturne. But I would like to see a good battle, you know. Maybe he defeats Aurox. But I feel like Aurox is someone who's going to be here for this whole journey, you know. A Dracula, maybe even an Aurox. But there will always be more, more and worse. So that's the thing. How do you actually eradicate it completely? It's like a vampire infestation, but you can beat the main guy of your time, but you're going to have to keep producing more Belmonts to fight the next one and the next one and the next one. So is it just the losing battle? And then you got people like Elizabeth, who's been living from who knows how long. She's talking about she's a god and stuff. Wow. Oh, she's got dogs on chains. Oh, did they? F oh, it's the city. Sigil. Well, she finally defeated Vablanc, but now obviously her mission is Edouard. Oh my goodness, what is this? The ethereal realm. <laughs> it just seems like there's no limit to her power. Ancient Egyptian devil god. But that's what I'm saying. She seems like the only one who could be able to beat Elizabeth. The Iwa of Ogun. Oh my gosh. Edward singing is next level. What is this abomination? Oh my goodness, now the other night creatures are gathering with him. I lived a long time as human and vampire. Human. He burned with such passion. People whose land had been stolen, I mean, like mine was. Then Julia Belmont killed him. Because he was a vampire. And you did that to him. I wanted him to be with me forever. So now you see, like, Allrox's reasoning, a bit of backstory as well. It's interesting how they can get it all within the space of, like, 1 minute to 30 seconds. Is that not Jock? Because they haven't, they haven't, like, put Jock across the screen in some time. My name was Jock. Oh my gosh. Mystic Mike calls it again twice in one episode. I was in the last episode that I was like saying I'm surprised I haven't seen Jock and now we see him. Please don't send me to dark space. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, she's there. Elizabeth. Wow. This is going to get interesting. Oh my goodness, you're just parading her through the street. Like, you know, you go pick up some street food at the parade. You're walking around. Oh, this looks good. Oh, hey, people. It's crazy. Jack, standing guard over me. He's got a crazy design as well. Jock. He looks like a sentry. Oh my goodness. So he's going to get... There's another evolution with the night creatures. Wow. I mean, I because remember, we saw the eyes go gray. Yeah. But I do think that he's going to have to train him, right? He's the greatest magic user of all the Belmonts. And he's even got the whole Merlin look, you know? Because this is what it is, right? He's not Merlin and King Arthur. That's like the whole dynamic here. Wait, remember there was that other vampire with the chain on his neck? He was like smelling. He smelled something in the woods. Is this not what we're seeing? So we're gonna get a fight. Let's go. 
Yep. Tim. Whoa. Oh, there's more than one. That was insane. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, what? They've already caught him. Oh, he's gonna be forced to use his magic. Oh, so they can probably smell the Belmont blood. Crazy. That's why he could look up like that. This guy looks like he was branded on his eye. Oh my goodness. It's gonna happen. He's gonna release all that magic power now. Let's go, Richter. Oh my gosh. What is that? A crucifix? Oh my goodness, the dude went Super Saiyan. <laughs> Let's go, Richter. No whip needed. Oh! What? Fire and ice. Oh my gosh, he's insane. Let's go, Richter. What the animation is insane, bro. Look at the fear in his eyes uh, or oh, in his eye. There's something you forgot about Belmont. I'd forgotten it too. Wow, I got goosebumps, bro. He just caught the oh, I just caught the bullet. <laughs> Let's go. But fuck it. <laughs> Let's go, Richter. What? I think this might be the greatest animated show of all time. I can do magic again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. He finally released all everything that was pent pent up, I mean. Oh my goodness, crazy, absolutely crazy, wow, what an, what an, like, I'm literally mumbling my words, what a crazy episode, the end, episode 6, episode 5 was good as well, we got a lot of backstory, we saw that, how powerful Annette is, just all the things that she keeps showing that she's able to do, also was just able to control herself now, especially in the face of Veblanc, and actually she defeated him, letting the sun rise and burn, and you saw the fear in him that was crazy and we finally met Elizabeth. she's as menacing as promised she had what drank the blood of Sekhmet in Egypt and she was speaking about how her the moon is a sister and the sun is a father and her whole reasoning behind everything is that she's gonna take out the sun it's like wow and she hates human beings because you know ever since they crawled out of caves as she said they've always worshipped the sun because you know they were scared of the dark and wow it's just absolutely crazy i wonder what's gonna happen with it i do have a feeling though that this is gonna end up just being the first season so i, do I don't know how they're gonna end it that's next next week's story even though mystic mike was back at it you saw it live in action and then also we saw that the abbot is actually maria's father very weird twist although that's another thing that i called and richter i mean if we move to episode six we saw that i mean we met Ju Just, just Belmont, his granddad, father of Julia, he even spoke about Cypher, which was Trevor's wife or girlfriend back then in Castlevania, the first one, Netflix show, and how Richter actually released his magic. It was one of the best animated scenes I've ever seen in my life. And that's why I'm saying Castlevania might be the best animated series of all time. Might be recency biased. If you disagree, you know where the comment section is. But how can you not? I mean, every single time i watch episodes of this show i'm left in disbelief at how good something could possibly be so that's about it. I'm, i'm very interested to see what happens in the the two episodes the finale very i'm I almost can't wait for next week and also with all rocks as well we saw how he sort of his backstory and why he killed julia because he was in love with a mohican who he turned into a vampire and so julia had to kill him 
and that's you see everybody has this backstory everybody's doing something for their own reason and that's what makes it so rich and i'm it's so crazy how they're able to do it in such a short period of time you know a lot of these shows they it takes like 500 episodes for you to really understand someone's reasoning and then you got this over here where it's like it only took a couple of scenes and you can really feel the attachment that's why i'm saying it's so good but anyways if you like castlevania if you like this episode hit the like button subscribe for more can't wait to finish this off next week so hit the notification bell so that you see it when it comes out but anyways very excited that was amazing thanks for watching if you're watching that's going to be it from me i'm out peace in a bit